Hi, it's Rich from Low and Design. Today, we're going to have a look at two cool types of glue. We're working on building these wines displays, and down here where you can't really see it, there's a little crack. So we're going to try to fill that crack with some epoxy. So here in the shop we have a bin of epoxy. We have our applicator, which is a trigger mechanism here, kind of cranks it out. And then you have a little thumb thing here, push it down and reset that back to zero. We buy these applicator tips and they have kind of a cool design in there that mixes the two halves of the epoxy together. And then we have a whole bunch of different types of epoxy. Here's 10 minute clear epoxy, 10 minute black, five minute epoxy gel, two ton epoxy, so it's a stronger epoxy, but it takes longer to harden. And we have five minute epoxy. So today we'll be using five minute epoxy, just gluing it something quick together. And really it's just to cover over that little hole. You can get these from various manufacturers, 3M and uh, Loctite. We got it at McMaster Car. They sell this kind of epoxy, this kind of uh, gun, and all the tips that you want. The gun is about $20 Canadian. The epoxy is about $24 for a tube, so that's pretty expensive. And these tips are less than a dollar each. And there's a little cap here. You undo that, and we click that in there and give it a turn. One other nice thing about these is, when I've finished my work for the day, I can just take the cover off here, the, the mixing tube, and put the cap back on, and I can save the epoxy to reuse another day. But in here, the epoxy is mixing, so you have about five minutes before it hardens in here. working its way along. And there we have some epoxy. The second type of glue I wanted to talk about is called UV activated glue. And here's an example from Loctite, AA352. And I have another example. This is 3105. And that comes with a, a gun that you load on there and squirts out in kind of a small hypodermic. And another one which I haven't seen around for a while. It's called Bondic glue. You buy this in, uh, I think they were selling this at Home Depot. And it comes with a little bit of the glue here in, in the cap and then a UV light that cures it just like that. So that's a pretty neat, simple option for this. But this, this is not quite so industrial as the rest of it. And to cure this glue, I made my own UV lamp. So this is a pair of UV LEDs in here, and I'll include the link to what we used in the description. And I mounted them on a heat sink. This is simply a piece of Delrin uh, plastic. And I've put a switch, just a sort of a, a uh, 
end stop switch for a CNC machine or whatever, but it has a cute little kind of industrial look to it and it uh, hardens the glue just fine. The wavelength of these is about 305 to 380 uh, nanometers and the glue requires I think 375 or 360, 375. So this is right in the right range. And the neat thing is it's, it's actually similar to what dentists use in your mouth. And uh, they'll do a filling and then they'll put a thing in, a little wand and press a button and a few seconds later your filling is all hard. And that's amazing. And this is the same kind of thing. You just take this, put some of the glue out, click some UV light on it for a few seconds, and it's all hardened. One other thing I wanted to mention about these UV uh, cured glues is that the UV light emitted by these is hazardous to your eyes. So it's important to wear the proper safety glasses. And these ones are uh, for a wide range of, uh, we use this for our fiber laser as well as this stuff. But uh, it says right on it that it's resistant in uh, 100 to 400 nanometers. And the glue is at 375, 380, or the uh, UV coming out of here. So we're good for that. Now what I use this for is when I have uh, connectors like this. So this is on a potentiometer. And if it's in an environment where it's gonna shake around a lot, maybe in a car, uh, I've seen them used uh, at uh, military contractors for uh, in uh, drones. In the ones I saw, it was not great big drones, it was little, little drones, but little surveillance drones. And every one of these connectors, they would put the UV on. Uh, the, the UV cured glue, and it would just be a little thing just to act as a strain relief around the connector. So let's check that out. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this Loctite glue, just pour some out here. It should squeeze out this cap, but that this glue is pretty old. It should be a little bit more liquidy than it is, but there it comes out like a little bit of honey. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this glue and I'm just going to put it around the connector here. And this will just act as a strain relief. There we go. Now I'm going to hit it with the UV. And it's cured. Now, because this glue cures by light, you can't use it between two pieces of wood or anything like that. It has to be somewhere that is clear and visible that the UV can get to it in order to cure the light. And this gets a little warm. You can feel that those LEDs are passing through quite a bit of energy. It's not the strongest glue in the world, but it's fine, you know, in, in the purposes for, for what you need it. For holding something in place for a little while when you're working with it, it's great. And some stuff like this, like uh, strain relief. So these were two types of glue that I haven't seen mentioned anywhere. And I thought they were pretty cool. And I thought I'd share them with you guys. Thanks a lot.